In this lesson, we'll be creating a new CAM setup for multi-axis. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a new CAM setup and define fixture, stock, and model in a setup. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example, and let's talk about creating a new CAM setup for a multi-axis machine. The first thing that we want to do is go to Setup and create a new setup. Inside of here, under Operation Type, Note that we have milling, turning or mill turn, and cutting. While you might instantly think we want to go in and use the mill turn option, we're actually going to stick with the milling operation type. The multi-axis aspect of it comes when we're posting the code. We need to create tool paths that are representative of a real machine, and we need to have code that supports that. So we always have access to these multi-axis tool paths. And also note that we currently have our preview functionality for machine definition turned off. If we have that turned on, you'll see an extra section in here where we'll need to select an applicable machine. Using the machine definition will allow you to define parameters inside of the machine and have an extra level of checks in place. What we want to do in this lesson and these sets of lessons is understand multi-axis positioning. So we're going to be focusing on the basics here in terms of how we're going to set up our new milling operations and how we're going to position and use the tools. The next thing that we want to do is identify the fact that on the screen, the stock that's being created is bounding not only our part, which is link in this case, but also all of our fixtures. Now this is obviously not correct. We want to make sure that we're focusing on just our part. So there's a few different things that we can do. The first thing that we want to do is identify the model by selecting link on the screen. This instantly will create the stock as a bounding box around it. However, we also have the option to select a fixture, which in this case, we want to select fixture assembly component. This will grab all the bodies that are inside of there. Also note that there's a section for fixture attachment. So this will specify a specific coordinate system of the fixture if needed. The next thing that we want to do is go to our stock section and instead of using a relative size box, we're going to select from solid and we want to select the stock component. Because the stock in this case actually contains a feature that is used and cut so that we can hold it in this fixture, we want to make sure that we represent that and the amount of material that we actually have to machine off. So this is a very helpful aspect of the file setup here to make sure that we have stock that represents our starting point and to make sure that we address the part that we want to machine, in this case our link, as well as the fixture. And these are all important to the process because we want to make sure we can identify them for things like collisions, but we also want to make sure that we identify areas that we want to be selectable and things that we actually want to be able to machine and fabricate. In our post processor section, we also have the available option to add program numbers and names. In this case, we're going to start with 9001, and I'm going to add multi axis, and this is going to be setup 2. And the reason that this is setup 2 is because the part has already been machined from one side so that it can be held in this fixture. Later on in our course, we will be talking about creating multiple setups and how we're going to handle things like stock flip. But for right now, we want to focus on the basis of multi-axis positioning toolpaths, and we'll worry about some of those details a little bit later. Before we say OK, we're going to go back to setup and ensure that our coordinate system is correct. Now, in some cases, your machine might have a probe that can help you locate stock. But for right now, again, we want to focus our attention on learning the toolpaths. So the first thing that we're going to focus on is positioning our coordinate system. So we want to make sure that we select the appropriate Z coordinate, which in this case is going to be our Y. And notice that I can't select it through this geometry. So if I hold down the left mouse button, it'll bring up my selection dialog and I can select Y. From here, we want to make sure that X and Y are in the right location and we're referencing the top center of this plane. So this is allowing us to pick the right coordinate system the box points in the right location, we've identified the model that we want to machine, we've identified the fixture, as well as the stock as starting from a solid body. So now we can say OK, and now everything is created inside of our setup. Because this file has had other setups in the past, we're going to go ahead and rename this to 
multi-axis setup2. Once we have this created, let's navigate back to a home view and make sure that we save the file before we move on to the next step.